let's get into the talkers for today. So Friday, last week, or last week, the developers of a popular board game released a new version that touches on the impact of climate change. Catan is the name. Catan New Energies is a twist on the original version Settlers of Catan. Now the game is based on real environmental science, which is pretty cool. The object of the game, players must both choose between re renewable energy or fossil fuel based power plants in its society fossil, uh, while fossils Fossil fuel may allow a player to grow faster, it will create more pollution. And too much pollution, we all know what that is, can cause some problems, right? Well, the game's developers hope it will show how we can all transition into a more sustainable and regenerative energy and ec economic economic system. So, hopefully, I want to see how that game works. It sounds pretty cool. Moving on. More than 1,000 of the best swimmers in America started their Olympic trials this weekend. It's taking place out in Indianapolis, and it will consist of, <coughs> excuse me, of more than two dozen events over the next seven days. So in most races, the top two finishers will earn a spot in the USA swimming team as it heads to Paris for this year's Summer Games. Olympic gold medalist Katie Ledecky is already off to a strong start. start clearing the women's 400 meter freestyle preliminary uh, in uh, under four minutes. She's already had six individual Olympic gold medals, more than any female swimmer in the history of sport. I'm excited about this, but also very excited to have Favor Flav <laughs> on the sidelines cheering on our team. Love that for him, love that for us. Moving on, when it comes to dating, okay, what's the luxury part of it and what is a necessity? Well, new research is out and it says that attempts to help nail what are the must-haves for people in the modern dating scene. Listen, child, I'm tired of dating. 47% consider it luxurious if their date wants to learn more about their background and have an in-depth and intellectual conversation. Now, a further 39% believe having the other person pay for the date in full, okay, is also considered a luxury. Why are we considering these luxuries and not the bare minimum? I have no idea, but conducted by Talker Research on behalf of the dating site Seeking.com, the survey also found that necessities include, you know, uh, having emotional con connection with your date in addition to being swept off their feet and exclusive experiences. If it doesn't have that, they actually consider it to be doomed. Also agreeing with that, okay? I think that emotional intelligence needs to be a necessity, okay? And also accountability, but that's just my experience. Neither here nor there. <laughs> Those are your talkers for today. Thanks for watching. Stick around by subscribing today and don't miss a single video.